Hi, I'm Carl Siebert. And I'm Koshal Shah. We are UX engineers that prototype new search experiences for Google. In previous sections of this series, you learned about how paper prototyping, sketching, and digital prototyping tools can help you explore your ideas and set a direction for your design team. At the core, prototypes are stories about the future. They help us create a shared sense of our current state, our future vision, and the path we'll take to get there. In this section, we'll be talking about native prototyping. And when we say native prototyping, we mean getting your hands dirty and writing some code. This can mean writing Android applications with Java, constructing iOS apps with Swift, or writing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for the browser. As much as possible, this is done using real devices, real data, and real users. Our goal for this video is to show you how you can leverage technology to really bring your ideas to life. This will let you start testing in real-world scenarios and start pitching your ideas to users and stakeholders. Now, we'll look into each of these areas in more detail and show you how they'll come together to turn your idea into an actual product. Do you know what the best thing about being a prototyper is? Toys. Lots and lots of toys. When you prototype natively, you'll start building and testing your design ideas on real devices. Think of this as an extension of your design process. All of this technology becomes your new canvas, and the code you write becomes your new paintbrush. We all know that building an experience for our phones is important. But how would the experience of your product change if a user interacted with it on a watch, in the home, on the TV, or in a virtual world? Thinking about how your product is actually experienced in the real world is one of the primary goals of native prototyping. So how do you get started? Well, as you may have guessed, this type of prototyping requires strong technical proficiency. Depending on which platform you use, this could mean writing code in Java, Swift, C++, Python, JavaScript, or any number of other programming languages. You'll also need to be proficient in the ecosystem and SDKs of whatever platform you're building on, whether that be Android, iOS, a web browser, or even hardware platforms like the Arduino. Nowadays, our devices are loaded with technology. Gyroscopes, accelerometers, speakers, cameras, microphones, and the GPS are all important part of the technology that helps shape the experience your user has with the product. And they all are pretty hard to prototype with traditional design tools like Photoshop or Sketch, or even some of the digital prototyping tools you saw earlier. Sometimes the best way to prototype an experience is by writing code. But when you prototype, you have a much different intent. We call it the hacker's mentality. You'll be exploring, taking a lot of risks, and probably a lot of shortcuts in your code. And that's okay. I should also mention, as you conduct these explorations, this is a really great time to try out specific libraries and frameworks and assess whether they are a good fit for your product. Remember, prototyping is meant to be low commitment. Feel free to throw away code whenever you need to and really use this opportunity to explore, experiment, and learn. In the next section, Carl will show you how you can take all your prototype explorations and start validating them with real users. Now that you've got a solid baseline on the technologies you use for your app, you need to consider how users will respond to your new features. One of the main benefits of native prototyping is that you'll have a realistic experience that you can put in the hands of your users to collect valuable feedback. Because a good user experience is much more than just the look and feel of your application, designing for your target market means making an investment in understanding how your users will react to the layout, animation, and input characteristics of the experience. Seeking validation early in the product lifecycle will help you identify the features that most resonate with your users and focus your design and development efforts in that direction. Integrating the simple process of design, prototype, test, and validate into your workflow will afford you the opportunity to craft more delightful moments into your app and hit the sweet spot with your audience. When seeking feedback from your users, be direct with the questions you hope to answer using the prototype. Ask for specific, actionable assessments on the important elements of your core journey. You may be surprised to learn that the features that are important to you might not be as important to your users. Building on the technology choices you've made along the way, you can gain a better understanding of how the whole experience will come together. You'll be more effective in guiding your product direction and team because you have the data to support your decisions. You've gone through rounds and rounds of iterations, explored with technology, and put your product in front of real users to get validation. You're now ready for one of the most important parts of the prototyping process, pitching your idea. It's one thing to explain your vision to someone, but what if you could hand it to them and let them feel and experience it all for themselves? At Google, we are often in the position of getting buy-in to a new product, initiative, or feature with our own stakeholders. We use prototypes to tell the stories of our ideas. You can start pitching at any point, 
But when you've invested time into exploring and validating with prototyping, you can tell a very compelling story because you're able to prove through the feedback and data that you've accumulated that your idea has a strong value proposition. This is why we recommend investing in prototyping before getting locked heavily into the engineering phase. Use the process to build strong arguments on why your product will succeed and let the prototypes be the proof. In this video, we've taught you the value of native prototyping, why you should explore with technology, how to validate your product's direction, and effectively communicate your vision to stakeholders and users alike. Native prototyping can be used at any point in your product lifecycle. Whether it's a new product launch or an upgrade to an existing feature, prototyping with real devices, real data, and real users will put your team on the fast track to success and help you identify the sweet spot in the marketplace for your app. The key is to invest in the process and leverage prototyping as an integral part of your workflow. This will help you build better products that your users will love. Thank you for taking the time to watch our prototyping series. You've seen everything from paper to digital and native prototypes. And somewhere in that spectrum is the right method to tell the story of your idea. I encourage you to experiment with all these tools. See what feels right for your idea and your organization. There's no silver bullet, no magic process, just ways to design, prototype, test, and validate. Try, build, fail, refine, and repeat so you can hit the sweet spot with your audience. Thanks again.